Hello viewers. Today let us see how Siemens S7-1200 can be controlled using mobile application in TIA portal. Open the very advanced TIA portal version 13 for controlling S7200. Create a new project let it be Somatic S7. Click on Create. Now you need to configure the PLC to the TIA portal. For that add the device in the Add New Device option. The PLC to be controlled comes under S7-1200. Choose the CPU. The CPU is nameplated on the PLC. From the nameplate of the PLC I am working on, I chose the CPU model and the part number. Click on Add to configure it. Now we are taken to Project View. Set the proper IP address to establish communication. Say 198.169.1.9. Right click here to change the IP address under CPU properties. In Profinet interface set the IP address. In web server configure the username and password for the mobile application Simatic S7. Tick the checkboxes for activating the web server on the module and to permit access only with HTTPS. The username and password should be set in this box. Tick the required authorization fields. Create and confirm password. Now go to Portal View, OB1 is chosen in Program Block which is the Routine Main Block. Ladder Program ADOL Starter. The on button and off button are taken as memory addresses with global accessibility. Now download the program to the device. Select the Ethernet card which automatically detects the PLC. Detection can be seen here. going online. Before downloading all the modules are stopped. It takes a while for downloading the program. going online. Click on Monitor to monitor them in software while running.
Right side you can see the hardware. Now making the on button to high state. The output can be seen on the hardware indicated by a lit bulb. When off button is pressed the output is turned off. This is how the PLC is controlled in the software by monitoring the program. Now going to the mobile application Simatic S7 for controlling the program. First of all open the application and log in. Now add new device. Fill the username, password and IP address. Save the created connection. Click on Simatic. Shows the hardware details of the connected PLC. Create tags to control the program. Add the respective tags for on button, off button, and output. Format should be carefully chosen. The on button, off button and the output coil of the DOL starter is added. Monitoring the hardware, the ladder diagram and the mobile application together. Change the value of on button in the Simatic S7 to 1. The output is turned on. Now controlling the off function in the app by changing the state of off button to 1. In the control page, we can see that the application facilitates even the control of buttons, gauges and sliders. I hope this video gave you a glimpse about Simatic S7. Another important factor for controlling PLC using Simatic S7 is that both PLC and mobile application should be connected to the same network. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.